PayPal reported fiscal year 2022 fourth quarter earnings results that investors took with mixed feelings, right? So there was some good and some bad. So let's go into those figures and, and, and decipher what the market liked and what the market didn't like. So news of the CEO departing later this year kind of overshadowed a great quarter for PayPal. So the news of the CEO leaving by the end of the year, uh, retiring, was the was what the market didn't like about PayPal's quarter. But the f actual figures that we're going to go through right now, I think the market liked that. I certainly thought that it was a good quarter. So overall revenue increased by 7% in Q4. This is good news, right? Because think about PayPal. It makes money when people most often, uh, it makes most of its money when people buy stuff online. That's what it takes a percentage of the total transaction value. And if you're not spending money online and you're going out in person, going to restaurants, you're probably not using PayPal to make those payments. And what's been happening in the last few quarters, in the last few months, is that consumers have been spending more time away from home, unleashing pent-up demand for those kinds of things like going to restaurants and bars. And so despite those headwinds, overall revenue increased by for PayPal by 7%. That's impressive. Earnings per share of 81 cents increased from 68 cents in the fourth quarter of 2021. So solid earnings growth. TPV, which stands for total payment value of 357 billion was up by 5% year over year. This is the number, the value of the payments that people made using their PayPal accounts. Of course, PayPal doesn't get all of that revenue. It takes a small percentage of that revenue, uh, of, of that spending for itself. But the fact that people are using PayPal for more payments is good news for PayPal because that means their customers are relying on PayPal more often instead of using their Visa or MasterCard or American Express card directly to make payments, right? Of those payments, Venmo processed $62.5 billion. That was up 3% year over year. That was a bit lackluster growth, in my opinion, for a part of its business that should be growing faster. The company added 2.9 million active accounts to reach a total active accounts of 435 million. That's a lot of total active accounts. Still, it's like one tenth of you know the number of Visa cards outstanding. There's more than four billion Visa cards outstanding in consumers' wallets today. Uh, so it's got room uh, to grow from here, but it's still adding uh, good millions of customers, even though it's already at 435 million. That was also good news in the quarter. Uh, 51.4 payment transactions per active customer in the trailing 12 months. That was up double digits. So not only does it have more customers, but each customer is using PayPal more often. That's really good news. The forecast was really good for net revenue growth of 7.5% in Q1 and 63 cents earnings per share in Q1 compared to 43 cents last year. So it's going to grow revenue and it's going to grow earnings per share. That's what it's expecting in the first quarter. And for the full year 2023, guiding to earnings per share of $3.27 compared to $2.09 in 2022. So overall, really good metrics for PayPal despite the the headwinds that its business is facing from the change in the way consumers are spending their money and spending their time. However, that really good news was overshadowed by the CEO departing uh, or announcing that he intends to depart at the end of the year. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. As always, I truly appreciate your viewership and I hope to see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.